Hey y'all, my name's Tyson. And this time around, let's have a look at sending your model to layout and um, some problems that can happen depending on how you do that. If you are fairly new to using layout, um, you may know that you can send a model to layout and adjust the viewport directly in layout. It's really cool. You also may know that we definitely recommend the best method is to use scenes to send your model to layout. But I want to explore those two options and show kind of a few things, just nuances that might or might not happen that we've seen in the forums and communities um, when people are sending their models to layout that can that can trip you up. Um, and uh, thanks to our friend Dave R for suggesting this topic. Um, it's definitely one that that uh, we've seen um, out there. <laughs> so hopefully we can clear some of this up. Let's have a look. All right, so here's um, the, the model. I don't have any scenes created yet. We will create some in a moment, but let's just save this. I'm going to save this so that I can send it to layout. And here we are. There it is in layout. And directly in layout, I'm going to take this and I can double click into my layout view. Orbit, it's a link directly to the SketchUp model. And create a view here. And that's uh, really cool. I didn't have to set anything up. In fact, I just copy this window and create maybe two more views. Let me double click into here, zoom back into this door, or maybe uh, in this case, we're, you know, this is a quick, there's some questions about the door and we need to do a quick, um, you know, update to somebody we're working with or the client, something like that. And so in this case, I'll say, uh, let's take the viewport and let's uh, go to a front view and turn perspective off. So I've done that. Let me jump back in here. All right. So quick to do and grab these, throw a stroke around them. If this um, is just a really quick one off, I'm going to print this right now. I'm going to export as a PDF and send it off. I'm probably not even going to save this layout file. I just created a simple one off to send a, a quick example. I'm going to throw some quick dimensions on here. And yes, I don't have room for these, but <laughs> just as an example of uh, what can happen here. You know, yes, those are, those are terrible, but maybe this view, I will come in, say, let's make it a, a different style. Okay. When I look at these views, see over here, we didn't create any scenes, but the nature of layout and SketchUp is that it sort of has this last save SketchUp view as the scene. It has a scene setting. So by default, this is the last save SketchUp view, but so is this one. And so is this one. Now, again, if I'm going to print this right now, close this file, I'm not saving it. I'm not coming back to it. That's fine. Um, it's a really quick way to work, uh, but here's what can happen. Um, we, we created this and then really quickly, I'm like, oh, you know what? There's this, I, this person standing in front of the door. Maybe it'll be better if they're out of the way. So let me jump back to our SketchUp model, grab this guy. I'll just move him over here. Make sure he's out of the way. Cool. Again, save the file and jump back to layout. Now I need to update one of these windows, or maybe I can go up to the file document setup, select this and say, update it. 
Okay, that worked. He's out of the way. Perfect. We didn't have any consequences there. I, <laughs> in, in, in creating this video, I wasn't even sure what would happen because sometimes what can happen is as I update the file, it might reset the view. Or if I want to change the style here and it doesn't change, that's because some of these settings get um, sort of locked in. And a common thing that can happen is you say, oh, I just need to reset this window. Well, if I reset this window or this one, can you guess what's gonna happen? So I'm gonna say reset the camera. It's gonna jump to the last saved view. And if I happen to have selected all of these and reset, it's gonna reset all of them to whatever the last saved view is. That might happen when you refresh the model. It might happen in other cases. And you can see our dimensions here are certainly uh, not working for us anymore. So what, um, again, the, it's, it's a common just sort of um, fast error. You're trying to work fast. You're trying to get something out the door. You create, you create a, a layout file. You save it. You come back to it the next day and you're like, let me update something. And all your views are, are all over the place or uh, they're not working like you expect. If you are going to do this, if you're going to create your own views in layout, just again, be sure that you don't intend to revisit this file. Again, it's fine as a one-off. But for predictability with your files, you need to create scenes. And what I want to show is that you need to stick to them. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So that's our example number one. By all means, come in here, jump into the SketchUp model view. Um, if it's if it's just a quick and dirty example. But let me close this. I don't need it. All right, now let's let's do this the way that we would do if we were being a little more meticulous, serious, and we need to create a, a document that we can reuse. So let me um, create, say, a viewport here of the entrance, and I'm going to create this scene. Maybe I've got a view down here of this uh, stairs. And maybe uh, let's uh, again, let's say we want a front view, turn perspective off. Oops. Turn perspective off. I'm just going to get it roughly there and add this scene. All right, so we've got a couple scenes created. I'm going to save this and send it to layout. So this time we want to maintain, so I've got this, it's entrance. I want to maintain, so I want to be careful. If I double click in here and change anything, even just a little pan and be like, you know, I just want to reframe this just a little bit. It still says entrance, but if I reset this, it's going to go back. And if I made a more significant change, because I'm like, you know what? I just need, I just need to look at this window over here. No, no biggie. And then I come back a week later, I've forgotten I made that change or I hand this file to somebody else and they uh, are not getting styles working quite like they need. So they're like, ah, oh, let me reset this. You're back to there. Do not uh, mess with the scene. Do not change this unless you are anticipating. I want to say, just don't change it. That's, that's, that's what it is. Don't change it. If you do, 
you will run into problems where uh, it's it's not linked anymore. Let me show a, a different example of this. So down here, let's say um, we want this one. We're going to change this to the front elevation. Uh, great. It looks like we can probably use a scale closer to here. Now, I don't have to create scenes for everything. Oops, don't need that. Um, maybe in this case, I can take this same window. And I want to focus on the door, so I will take the scene. Now, it, it's, it's tempting, right? I could resize this window, and then I'm just like, oh, you know what? I've already got this. Let me just zoom this up come into this door. Great. Wait, what happened? Well, it's fighting you now because you're fighting the scene you've set up. So let me grab this, reset it just to be sure. I don't want to move this within the window. It sounds kind of like more work, but what I want to do is instead select my window. Maybe I say I, I can uh, change this but I want to instead reframe the window but not do not edit go in and change anything inside uh, of here that is where the problems come in so it seems like a little bit more work because okay I have to maintain the scene as it is. But as long as I do that, as long as I am careful to say, all right, it took me a few more moments to reframe the window and leave the scene alone. I can come in here and I don't have that, that problem, you know, where I'm resetting or, or having any issues. I can add dimensions. I can add leader text. Um, and I'm not going to have problems where this is going to get out of whack down the road. So it seems in some cases like, oh, I could just quickly zoom in and, and make a change and that will just be easier. Okay, yes, in the moment it might be easier, but for the most reliability, do not. <laughs> do not manipulate the the view of your SketchUp model once you've set your scene. Again, if we really wanted, we could come in here and say, you know what, now I need to add a new scene because I want to focus over here on this spot. So I'm going to, uh, and, and if it's an elevation, maybe I'll zoom in over here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that because I want to focus on this railing. So then I'll add one more scene. Oh. Save the file, go back to layout. I don't have to worry about um, updating the model reference because right now I don't have that uh, new scene, but if I quickly update, model reference. Now I do, but I haven't lost any of the work I've done because I have respected the scenes that I've set up. Even just a little bit where I'm like, oh, I just need this just right there. Cool. I didn't, no harm done, right? <sighs> Maybe so. Especially if you start putting text and leader lines and dimensions on here. And then no, it's, it's a little bit off. And if I, if this was framed very tightly and I was like, oh, here, I'll just reframe it easy. No, you didn't. Once that gets reset, you've, you've caused a problem again. So just set up the scenes and preserve the scenes. Um, 
okay, I that sounds, I know this whole thing sort of sounds preachy and it's very, it's a really simple concept. So again, the main thing is that yes, in some cases it'll take you an extra few moments, another minute to leave the scene as is, create, reframe the window as opposed to going in and moving the model. Reframe the window, leave the scene alone, and then bring the window back into place. It's a few extra steps, but it gives you the most predictability down the road. It'll preserve uh, your scenes, it'll preserve the model um, where you want it. It's such a quick and easy thing to do to just adjust the view, but if you are gonna save your file and want it to behave the same a day later, a week later, or a year later, don't go in and manipulate that view. Just don't do it. Okay, so preachy as it is, hope that makes sense. Um, again, thanks to uh, the, our community out there for making suggestions and our friend Dave for suggesting this one. If you have other suggestions or other topics that you think uh, would be great for other people to know or that you want us to explore, again, let us know in the comments. Let's have that discussion. Let us know what you think about uh, this example. And uh, otherwise, hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, y'all.